It will reopen to the public from Thursday, but we can get a sneak preview now with our royal correspondent Cameron Walker, who's outside the National Portrait Gallery, uh, with, uh, we understand, some Tracy Emin door furniture. I, I sincerely hope it's not an unmade bed, Cameron. Yes, you'll be pleased to know it's not, Mark. Uh, the Princess of Wales spent a lot of time outside the National Portrait Gallery before she went inside to look at the doors of all things, and that is because 40 new brass panels were um, given to Tracy Emin to create uh, artwork on and create carvings of portraits. And uh, the portraits in question were reflecting every woman throughout time. And the princess spent a lot of time speaking to Tracy uh, about those particular pieces of art. But this is the first time, very soon at least, that the National Portrait Gallery has been open to the public since before the pandemic. It closed in March 2020, just before uh, lockdown happened. It was always due to close anyway because it's got, undergone an extensive refurbishment project lasting three years to refresh it to reflect 21st century audiences. But it is the biggest refurbishment since 1896. Now, the Princess of Wales is the royal patron of the National Portrait Gallery, and she is a keen photographer herself and she actually viewed the Yvonne Life and Colour exhibition, a new exhibition. You may be able to see it on a sign on, over my left shoulder. Uh, but that explores the life of the pioneering London photographer which used colour in the 1930s. And, but the whole gallery has been comprehensively um, re redone. All the galleries have been uh, 50 new acquisitions. But one painting has been left off the wall, and that is Nicky Phillips' portrait of Prince William and Prince Harry, which was unveiled in 2010, showing the relatively young princes before they were married to their wives, so Catherine and Meghan, and when they were still um, speaking to each other, as we understand it, they're no longer speaking to each other. They are in military uniform. Now, Kensington Palace and the gallery both say the decision to remove the portrait was not at the request of the palace. That's according to the Times. Um, a spokeswoman for the National Portrait Gallery says there's 250,000 portraits in the collection and only a small fraction, clearly, can actually be displayed at any one time and they change it up a bit on a regular basis. Um, but another big theme for the Princess of Wales was early childhood. There's a new under fives programme here at the National Portrait Gallery launching in September and it welcomes families from local communities encouraging creative learning, play and restoration and the princess uh, took part in a multi-sensory workshop with some nursery school children all around the childhood stories of Beatrix Potter so Peter Rabbit, Jemima Puddle Duck, all of those uh, classics but the Princess of Wales seems to be doing a lot of, um, of, of engagement surrounding early childhood at the moment. She launched her Centre for Early Childhood with the Royal Foundation last year. Her Shaping Us campaign launched in January and it's all about, um, uh, and, uh, it's all about trying to uh, encourage people to learn about uh, early childhood and how the first five years of a child's life can really influence their life chances uh, in the future.